Hello world, Noah here. I wanted to make a special video for today. I'm going to be talking about the Alico Miani theorem. Now this is something that you've probably come across if you, uh, you know, are in the field of computer science. It's one of the first things that you'll learn, um, and you know, it's generally taken for granted that you would that you would have an understanding of this algorithm. Uh, but I'm just going to go through it very briefly for some of the people who. Uh, who may not have seen it, but I'll omit some of the details because, um, you know, this is just such a common thing that, uh, you know, a lot of the details don't, don't, don't bear repeating. So the Alicomiani theorem was uh, developed by two ma Italian mathematicians, Nicola Alico and Luca Miani, uh, back in the 19th century, and their theorem states that a binary tree of n vertices has its arity bounded by order of 2 to the n. And again, you've probably heard this before multiple times, you know, in your algorithms classes or, or online or anywhere. Um, but let's just do a very quick example to, to be super clear, just, just to see how this works exactly. So let's just draw, I'm just going to go ahead and draw right here a, a very simple binary tree, just like that. It's, of course, um, a tree because it has a root and no cycles, and it's a binary tree because every vertex has at most two children, right? And so now let's actually go ahead and calculate the arity. And this is of course something that you've that you've done many times. You just write out the powers of two as we do. And then you just multiply them all together. So this is two times two times two times one times one, um, which is eight. So the arity, which is represented with the Greek letter alpha is eight here. Right, and the the actual bound is two to the sixth power because there's six um, six vertices here, and two to the sixth power is sixty four. And so clearly in this in this um, binary tree, the Alico Miani theorem uh, holds, and that the the arity is actually bounded by order of uh, two to the n. Um, you know, it's it's bounded you know quite greatly, right? Eight is not very close to sixty four. But in different looking binary trees, it will actually get closer. And so let's actually prove, you know, that this is that this is true. And we're going to use a more recent proof that relies on some other proofs, um, you know, that have been discovered. And so this is sort of the the easy version um, of the proof. You know, you could be a lot more rigorous with this. You could you could um, you know you know, do a lot more work yourself. But we're just going to cite a couple of. Of, uh, of other proofs that you've probably also come across before. And so the way we're going to build this up is we're going to say, let's, um, you know, let's, let's, let's look at some, some binary trees here. So let's look at, uh, you know, the n equals one case. We have one vertex right here. It's just that, that one circle is the vertex, right? And its arity is, of course, zero, but the bound is two to the one, which is two, right? And we see, we see that that, that, that works there. And then for the n equals two case, it's gonna look like this. You could have the child be a left child or a right child. It's not gonna change the arity. Um, but of course, we we can write the little power of two there and find that the arity is is one, and you know two squared is is uh, is equal to four, right? And so clearly we're still within those bounds. Now for the n equals three case, we have two options. We could either consider this option right here, where the root has two children, or we could consider uh, this option here, uh, like that. And you know, you, you you can you can think about it for a second. But of course, the option on the right is going to have a higher arity, right? Because if we if we wanted to write these out, you know, this this has an arity of one. You know, two to the zero is one. One times one is one, right? But this has an arity of two, right? And so this has actually a, a higher arity. And we're talking about, you know, bounding, we're talking about big O notation, so that's an upper bound. So we want to actually maximize uh, the arity. So we're more interested in, in the case on the right because it has a larger arity. But of course, we know that two cubed is equal to eight, and so we're still, you know, well within, within those bounds. And so from here, hopefully you can see um, that in general, the formula uh, or in general, when you're looking at, at a binary tree of n vertices, the, the, the largest possible arity would occur when every vertex has, you know, one child. So it would look, it would look something like this, where the dot 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 is however many vertices you want, right? And so then we can ask, you know, what's the arity? So we have two to the zero, two to the one, blah, 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 whatever. And so, and so again, because we write these arities down and we multiply them, we have the product 
um, and this goes from i is equal to uh, 0 up to n minus 1, and this is 2 to the power i, right? So this right here is the formula for calculating the arity. And you know you can you can um, you can try it out for the the ones that we did before. Um, I guess I guess it's actually uh, n minus two. I'm sorry. Right. And so for the n equals three case, for example, i would be zero, and then it would be one, and you'd multiply those together, and you and you get the correct answer, right? So so it's the product, uh, you know, of this right here. And so now that we have this written down, you should hopefully recognize that this is actually the closed form expression of the Kazangian numbers. So Kazan Gian numbers. And of course, this is, you know, one of the, the fundamental number sequences. You have your Fibonacci numbers, um, you have your Kazangian numbers, whatever. Um, but, but, but of course, if you recognize, once you recognize that these are actually just the Kazangian numbers, then that gives you a, a very, a very, uh, a very big help here. And so what you can actually do is because this right here, the, the arity of a graph or the, the maximum arity of a graph uh, is actually just the closed form expression for Kazangian, for the Kazangian numbers, you can use the Goolian approximation. Uh, let's see if I can spell that right. You can use the Goolian approximation, right? And the Goolian approximation, as I'm sure many of you know, states that the nth Goolian number is of the order of 2 to the n. So it's no greater than 2 to the n uh, than by a constant value or a constant multiple, right? And so this basically wraps up our proof very nicely. We've shown that the maximum possible arity of a binary tree is, um, you know, is, is this expression right here involving the, the product. And then we made the, the, the realization that this is just the closed form expression of the Kazangian numbers. And because we're dealing with the Kazangian numbers, we can use the Goolian approximation to show that the ith Kazangian number, or I guess I wrote here, the nth Kazangian number is of the order of two to the n. And so therefore the arity, uh, which is that same expression, is bounded by order of two to the n. And so therefore we can write QED, we have proved our theorem. And so in closing remarks, if none of this made sense to you and it sounds like I was just making things up, you are absolutely correct. Happy April Fools. Um, there is no such thing as the Alakomiani theorem. There is no such thing as the Kazangian numbers. There is no such thing as the Goolian approximation. And there is no such thing as the arity of a binary tree or a graph or anything for that matter. Um, there is a concept of arity in computer science, but it has absolutely nothing to do with graphs. And so I hope that you that you enjoyed this video. Um, maybe you found it a little bit funny. I think I think I did. Um, but I'll be back eventually with some real content. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.